Have you ever wondered what it truly means to trust in God, especially in times of uncertainty? We find ourselves in a world that seems to be spinning faster each day, a world filled with constant change and unpredictability. From personal battles to global crises, the challenges we face can often feel overwhelming. In this whirlwind, it's natural to seek a sense of stability, a firm ground to stand on. Many search for this in worldly possessions or human relationships, but these are subject to change and disappointment. They are, after all, part of this ever-spinning world. But what if I told you there's an unchanging source of security, a source that remains constant, regardless of the turmoil around us? That source, dear friends, is God. In the face of uncertainty, it is our trust in God that offers us a lifeline. It is the beacon of light in the darkest of nights, the anchor in the stormiest of seas. It is the still small voice that whispers, fear not, for I am with you. Our faith in God isn't merely a belief in his existence. It's a deep-seated trust, a steadfast confidence in his goodness, his power, his promises. It's the conviction that no matter how chaotic things may seem, God is in control. But let's be clear, trusting God doesn't mean we won't face hardships. On the contrary, trials are part of life. But it's in these trials that our faith is tested and strengthened. It's in these moments of uncertainty that we learn to lean not on our own understanding, but on God's wisdom and guidance. Indeed, the just shall live by faith. Our trust in God is not a crutch for the weak, but a shield for the strong. It's not an escape from reality, but a deeper engagement with it. It's not a passive acceptance of fate, but an active participation in God's divine plan. In the midst of turmoil, there is one constant, unchanging source of security. God. Let us journey back to a time where one man's faith was tested beyond measure. Picture a man named Noah, living in a world consumed by wickedness, yet he himself was a beacon of righteousness. Noah was a man of God, a man of unwavering faith. And it was this faith that led him to heed God's warning of a great flood, a flood that would cleanse the world of its wickedness, sparing only those who believed in God's word. That belief, that unwavering faith, prompted Noah to undertake a task that many deemed impossible. He was to build an ark, a vessel that would shelter him, his family, and a pair of every living creature. Imagine the ridicule, the disbelief that Noah faced from those around him. Yet, he remained steadfast, his faith unshaken. He worked tirelessly day after day, year after year to build this ark, guided by nothing but God's word and his unwavering faith. Then came the rain falling in torrents, submerging the world beneath a great deluge. But Noah, his family, and the creatures aboard the ark, they survived. They floated above the chaos carried by their faith in God's promise. And when the rain ceased and the waters receded, they emerged into a world reborn, a world cleansed of evil. In the story of Noah, we see a testament to the power of unwavering faith. His trust in God, in the face of ridicule and disbelief, was his salvation. His faith led him to build an ark in anticipation of a flood that seemed impossible, but in the end, came to pass. Like Noah, we too are called to trust in God's word, even when it seems impossible. We are called to have faith, to believe in God's promise, and to act on that belief, no matter how daunting the task may seem. For it is through faith that we find our salvation just as Noah did, in a world reborn through the cleansing power of God's love. Sometimes the biggest battles we face are not physical, but spiritual. Our story takes us back to a time when a young shepherd boy named David faced a towering giant named Goliath. Goliath, a Philistine warrior, stood over nine feet tall, his appearance alone enough to instill fear in the hearts of the bravest. Yet in the face of this intimidating foe, a mere boy, David, stepped forward, armed only with a sling and his unwavering faith in God. The people watched in disbelief as this young, unassuming shepherd boy challenged the fearsome Goliath. Yet David's courage did not spring from a place of overconfidence or ignorance. No, it was born of a deep, abiding faith in God. He knew that the battle was not his, but God's. As Goliath roared with laughter and scorned David, the young shepherd boy did not waver. He declared, You come against me with sword and spear and javelin, but I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty. With those words, David stepped forward, slung a single stone, and struck the giant down. David, a mere boy, had triumphed over a seasoned warrior, not by his strength or skill, but through his faith. His faith in God empowered him to overcome his fear, to face the giant that stood before him, and to emerge victorious. 
This story serves as a powerful reminder of the strength we can find in our faith. Just like David, we all face giants in our lives, challenges that seem insurmountable, fears that loom large. Yet, it is in these moments that our faith can empower us, giving us the courage to face our giants and the strength to overcome them. David's victory reminds us that with faith in God, no obstacle is too great. Whatever giants you are facing, remember David. Remember his faith, his courage, his victory. And know that with faith, you too can overcome. For the battle is not ours, but God's. In the midst of suffering, where do we turn? That's a question many of us grapple with. One of the most profound answers lies in the story of Job, a man of unwavering faith in the face of immense suffering. Job, a prosperous man, lived a life of righteousness, holding steadfast to his faith in God. But his life took a dramatic turn when he was subjected to severe trials and tribulations. He lost his wealth, his children, and was afflicted with painful sores. Yet, in the midst of this intense suffering, Job never wavered in his faith. Now you might be thinking, how could Job maintain such faith in the midst of such suffering? Job knew that his sufferings were not a punishment, but a test of his faith. He understood that his relationship with God was not transactional, dependent on his circumstances, but rather unchanging, rooted in trust and love. Job's friends tried to convince him to curse God and die, but Job refused. He declared, Though he slay me, yet will I trust in him. This profound statement reveals Job's unwavering faith and trust in God, even when everything else was stripped away. Job's story inspires us. It shows us that faith is not just about being blessed with good things, or having a smooth ride in life. Faith is about trusting God, even when the road gets rough, even when we can't see the light at the end of the tunnel. It's about understanding that God is with us, even in our darkest hours. Job's suffering was intense, but his faith never wavered. And in the end, God restored Job's fortunes, blessing him with twice as much as he had before. This restoration was not a reward for Job's suffering, but a testament to his unwavering faith. Job's story is a testament to the power of faith and trust in God, even in the face of immense suffering. It's a reminder to us all that no matter how great our trials, our faith can lead us through, shining a light in the darkest of times. Faith is not just about believing in God, but also trusting in His plan for us. Let's take a moment to contemplate this truth. Reflect on your own journey of faith, the peaks and the valleys, the triumphs and trials. Each step you've taken, each decision you've made has led you to this very moment. And in this moment, I invite you to consider how you can trust in God more. Trust is not a one-time act. It's a continuous process, like a river that flows, sometimes calm, sometimes turbulent, but always moving forward. And it's the same with faith. Faith is not a destination, but a journey, a journey that is unique to each and every one of us. In the face of uncertainty, we may often find ourselves questioning or doubting. This is a natural part of the human experience. But remember, it's in these moments of doubt that our faith is tested and ultimately strengthened. Just like the stories we've shared today of Noah, David and Job, each faced their own trials. Their unwavering faith and trust in God provided them with the strength and courage to overcome. Their stories serve as a reminder that even in the most difficult circumstances, trust in God can provide us with peace, strength, and resilience. So, as you continue on your faith journey, remember to trust in God's plan for you. For He is with you in every step, in every decision, and in every moment. Trust in His love, trust in His wisdom, and trust in His plan. For His plan is always greater than we can ever comprehend. Thank you for joining us today. If you found this video uplifting and encouraging, please subscribe to our channel, God's Voice, for more. Remember, the just shall live by faith.